Cross-cultural communication is a very important aspect of life today. The internet and modern technology have opened up new ways to communicate with people from different countries and cultures. It can now be as easy to work with people remotely as it is to work face-to-face. -face. And as a result, cross-cultural communication is increasingly the new norm. If communication is electronic, it's as easy to work with someone in another country as it is to work with someone in the next room. Face-to-face -face communication is another story. And people need to realize that a basic understanding of cultural diversity is the key to effective cross-cultural communications. I have had the opportunity to interact with people that had different cultures and were from different countries. For example, at the high school I attended, we had about 35 foreign exchange students that all came from different parts of Asia. I interacted with them on a frequent basis as I had classes with some of them and they even played on some of our athletic teams. Their second language was English, so they all spoke English, but there were definitely some language barriers. They struggled to come up with the words at times and their grammar was not always correct. As you interacted with them more often, you started to understand how they talked and how they used English. Another interaction I had with people of a different culture occurred during my mission trip to Haiti this past summer. The people of Haiti speak Haitian Creole, which is very similar to French. It was very difficult to communicate with them at first as I had never heard Creole in my life. Over the course of the week, they taught me so many things about their language and we were able to effectively communicate with each other. While we might not have always known exactly what they were saying and they might not have always known what we were saying, it was very interesting to see how our abilities to communicate improved throughout the week with them. One other interaction I have had with someone from a different country was when my uncle had a friend from Germany come and visit. There was not much of a language barrier as he spoke both fluent German and English. It was very interesting to learn about his life in Germany and how he communicates with others there though. There will definitely be cultural and communication challenges when I meet with Yan He. We are from opposite sides of the world and have lived very different lives. I need to make sure that I'm keeping my communication clear, simple, and unambiguous. I need to make sure that I avoid typical slang words that my friends and I might use because he probably will not understand these. In order to prepare for my first meeting with Yan He, I'm going to do a little bit of background research on China. Learning the basics about culture and at least something about the language of communication in different countries is important. I want to learn about different customs or things that are very prevalent or important in that area. I also am going to develop a short list of questions so that if I can't think of something to say or if I want to keep the conversation moving, I will have something to do that. In conclusion, I'm very excited to meet Yan He and learn more about him and his life. I think that the two opportunities that I will have to talk to him will help me learn a lot about him and his culture, and it will also help me open up to him as well.